so you know here's the thing man um you know there's no magic tobacco i say i say it's another thing i say all the time uh, a friend of mine carlos says there's no tobacco from mars we all we all use the same tobacco um mm-hmm. it's like it's like if you go to a restaurant most of these restaurants they buy their their ingredients from cisco or whatever there's no there's no uh there's nobody who has you know a special magic source of tobacco that makes your cigars better um it's just it, it just doesn't exist and so um you know it, it's a combination of a lot of things that you do time patience um you know taking care of your people having consistency quality there's there's all these things that kind of wrap up in it but you know most of the cigars on the cigar market are, are pretty good today um yeah. you walk into a humidor even a poorly kind of main you know a poorly curated humidor at a you know a, a half-assed retailer most of the cigars in there are going to be pretty decent um i think it kind of boils down to um personal preference right yeah um but for me um what i make cigars that i like and and to fill holes of uh, uh you know kind of sometimes i want something a little bit milder sometimes i want something really strong um you know i blended the neanderthal um uh, I, I don't smoke a lot of those because that is a you know that is a, a closer you know um so um but when I made it, I loved it, right? Yeah. Uh, right. And for some people, that's that's their favorite cigar. Um, sometimes I just shift to something else, and you know, like right now, I'm I'm kind of more on the lighter medium side of, of smaller smaller ring gauge cigars. So, um, but you know, it, I think if you do your job correctly, and, and you make something that someone likes, the, the key is to continue to make it that way. And also make it uh, and uh, run your business in a way where you can se- sell it at a fair price. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people look at our cigars and go, "Oh, they can't be as good as the other one because they're five dollars cheaper, right?" But the people who who smoke two or two or three a day, they go, "Look, uh, this cigar could is easily as good, if not better, than this other one over time, specifically." And uh, the fact that it's four or five dollars cheaper, you have to understand why that is. But um, you know, that's once people kind of key into that. If it's a cigar that they like, whether it's Aquitaine or or EC or or a mixture of all of them, right? I I I, I always say also if uh, if you don't if you don't find a cigar somewhere in our portfolio that that you don't really like. Um, you probably don't like smoking cigars because there's something in there, you know, for everybody. everybody. And and yeah. they're they're consistent and they're a good price. And you know, what is there to not like about them? Right. Absolutely. Uh, so that skip guy's kind of questionable because that's not going to keep me from buying the cigars. That's right. I mean, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, th- there's there's plenty of guys out there who are so full of shit. If that if you know, some people just like to be in a cult. You know, some people just like to be. Um, you know, full, you know, so whatever. 